Hello, this is Camille from Food Foraging Australia. If you like these videos, please like and subscribe. Now, mushroom season is well and truly in swing, and I'm going to show you one of my favourite mushrooms of all time to eat, and it is the saffron milk cap or the Lactarius deliciosus. Now, these mushrooms um, typically start appearing uh, in about mid autumn and um, they are one of the best eating mushrooms available. You often find them in farmers markets where they're usually sold at like about $45, $50 a kilo. So I love picking these mushrooms because they are an excellent mushroom for eating in things like stroganoffs, pasta bakes, with meat. I love eating this with meat. And I'm going to show you how to identify them. Now when it comes to picking mushrooms and eating them, you always need to be 100% sure um, what you are picking and what you are eating and going through all of the identifying features because it is really easy to accidentally pick a poisonous mushroom. The best way to learn is to actually go out in the field with someone who knows what they're doing. That's actually how I learned how to do this. Um, I went with a friend who's done it since a very young age. She's from uh, Poland actually um, and they're mycophiles. They love mushrooms and they're very experienced at them and she actually taught me how to find them. So let's go through the identifying features. Now the top of it is very warty. When these get really old, uh, older, they will actually um, fan out and become conical in shape. The top of it is very warty, very orange, and it grows around pines. It's often referred to as a pine mushroom. Um, so wherever there's pine trees, you'll often find these, along with um, other uh, another kind of edible mushroom called a Suillus bovinus, which I'll show you uh, another time. Um, they can often grow around the Amanita muscarias as well, which is the red, uh, white speckled toadstool, so just be careful. So when you're picking these, once, once you've seen the orange top, if you pick it from the bottom and turn it upside down, that's what you'll see. Bright, vivid orange. Now the stipe is hollow. In the in the adult specimens the stipe will become hollow. This is still quite young so it's firm but uh, a hollow stipe, the orange uh, gills and when you actually slice the gills it will bleed a really uh, orange saffron coloured milk. That's why it's called Lactarius because it has a, a, a milk in it, um, and like an orange milk. Um, so that's basically it. I always look for the hollow, hollow stem and also the orange milk and that's how you'll know that it's a, a Lactarius deliciosus or a saffron milk cap. Um, you can just uh, wash them gently or you can brush them with a, with a brush, slice them up and then just saute them. I like to saute them as well um, and put them on toast. They're really, really tasty. Um, and just always make sure that you always leave some behind to mature and drop their spores. Uh, so with this one, what I'll do is I'll probably um, break it up and then seed it around just so I'm not wasting a mushroom. Um, so there you have it, folks, the saffron milk cap, the Lactarius deliciosus. Um, again, always be 100% sure what you have is the correct identification and just follow those uh, those rules. Hollow stipe, conical in shape, warty top and uh, saffron coloured milk. And give it a try and if you like these videos please like and subscribe. Thank you very much.